Capcom was asking fans, what do you want of a Resident Evil 2 remake? Are you even interested in the idea of a Resident Evil 2 remake? Hell fucking yeah I am. This is some shit I've been talking about for years. I mean, motherfucking years. I I've dedicated so much time on this motherfucking channel talking about this. It's ridiculous. You know, this is something that ever since the Resident Evil remake on GameCube, ever since that shit was announced, unveiled, shown off, and hit store shelves, everybody was like, oh my god, a Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, fucking gore boners aside, everybody wanted to see that. But it never came to fruition. We never got to see it, and it was kind of a letdown for us because it would have the most awesome shit ever. I've long considered Resident Evil 2 to be the best Resident Evil in the series outside of Resident Evil Remake. I've always debated about those two. But those, I've loved to death. I know everybody's entitled to their own fucking shit. Well, that's my opinion. So, but, ah. but Resident Evil 2, I consider one of the best PlayStation 1 games, one of the best video game sequels, one of the best survival horror games. It just did everything that you would need as a game sequel. It took the foundation that Resident Evil created and just blew that shit up. And, and turned it into like one of the most amazing titles you would have ever gotten your fucking hands on. But a remake? Yeah, I, I would love to see something like that because with the, with the passage of time, obviously the game for some might not have aged all that well. I, I think it's a fucking gem. I really do. I mean, I did an entire Let's Play on this fucking channel of that game, which by the way, if you haven't seen a Let's Play, you ought to check that out. I'll just put like a card or an annotation or some shit here. Yeah, ah. But that game. I've had memorized inside and out. I know everything about the scrapped version of it, Resident Evil 1.5. I know everything about that, the history of it. I just, I love that game bunch. Well, you already know I'm a big time Resident Evil fan, so this comes as no surprise. But Remake, man, this would be a great idea because the Resident Evil Remake sold very fucking well. I'd even talked about that in a separate video. Digitally, that game went through the fucking roof in sales. I actually imported the physical copy of the Resident Evil remake on PlayStation 3 because the entire thing is in English and I, I had to go and have that. It's kind of crazy but if you look inside right there it, it's Biohazard so it's got dual covers dual manuals we can barely get manuals here in the fucking states but they've got two and I thought that was kind of cool one for Biohazard one for Resident Evil but I, I, I know that game did very fucking well, and it deserves it because it's fantastic. Like, it is. If anybody's like, oh, it's not that great, what are what the fuck are you smoking? What the fuck are you smoking, ingesting, and shooting up? Like, what the fuck? Like, god damn. But anyway, so that game is awesome. I would love to see it done in that style. I mean, that's a true, blue, genuine survival horror game. It is. In every sense of the word, that is what I think of when everything when I think of the actual evolution of what the original Resident Evil could be. So I would love to see Resident Evil 2 done in that style. And I know that right now that there's a fan-made remake going on right now called Resident Evil 2 Reborn, which I've desperately been wanting to get my hands on. It's been done up in the Unreal Engine 4, and I've been keeping tabs on it for a long-ass time now, and I just want to go and have a download so I could go and tinker about and fuck about with it, because it looks so damn cool. And some people might say that they would prefer the actual remake to be done in a control scheme and style where it's like over the shoulder, third person, and it's sort of like Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, that, that gameplay style. And I'd be absolutely fine with that, but if I had to sit down and choose, just because I've seen how well the Resident Evil remake was done, I, I would want to see it like that because it would harken back to the original game. You know, it, it pay homage to it in, in a big time way. So that's kind of why I think that it'd be cool to see it done done up like that. Now, it, if it was possible, I, I would love to see a lot of extras put into this because I know the Resident Evil remake itself had a shit ton of extras. I mean, shit tons. We weren't talking about just aesthetic changes to the overall game's imagery. No, they added entirely new sections. They changed shit around entirely, changed up the script, a whole lot of stuff. Added new bosses and monsters, just a lot of stuff. I would like to see the same care taken for Resident Evil 2. If that gets remade, I would love to see the whole Crimson Heads from the Resident Evil remake put into this. I would like to see some of the stuff from Resident Evil 1.5 put back into this because those ideas still stand. You know, if you decide like, okay, a lot of people don't notice, but the Marvin, the cop in Resident Evil 2, 
and uh, John Kendo, dude that runs the gun shop, both of those characters were going to run around with Leon and Claire. Well, technically Elsa at the time because this was Resident Evil 1.5 and Claire wasn't even a character yet. Hell, I would like to see Elsa Walker be a character in the Resident Evil 2 remake. Just again to be like, look, th this is... This is the real deal shit. We're, we're really going and tipping our hat to the legacy that this game has left behind. I think it would be cool to see that shit. And if they did that, if they could have some kind of simultaneous co-op, you know, online co-op where you're running around with the characters, because originally that's how the game was designed. You know, and if it's co-op, make the game like some extra hard difficulty just because you're going to have two characters going about and fucking about everywhere. Because a lot of the newer Resident Evils allow for two player co-op. So why not with this? You know, I, th I would love that. I really would. And then make it optional that you can obviously have the one-player campaign, obviously. You know, that, that shit, it would, just common sense. But I would like to see a lot of throwbacks to that. Uh, William Birkin, his transformation was like some big fucking super zombie. Why don't you make it in Leon's campaign and Claire's campaign that each one has a different transformation of well, William Birkin's G-Virus fucking forms and stuff? You know... That could be cool. Some of the monsters that you took out of the game, some of the weapons and shit, put those back in. You know, some of the locations were completely different. Lo oh, I can't say some of them. A lot of them were completely different looking. Now, some of the shit that they didn't have was that really kick-ass uh, shooting range. They didn't have the uh, the holding pen for all the inmates and stuff. I love that. Th those sections look scary as shit. Like, put those in there. God damn, would that be cool? Uh, thing, things that would be also nice, um, make Resident Evil 2, the actual, like, full version of it, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 1.5, make those as extras. If you had to make a limited edition collector's edition or something that includes these, make that happen. Make them unlockable, you know, make it some absolutely fucking, uh, uh horribly difficult, arduous tasks that everybody has to fucking go through to be able to unlock these, because they are things that fans have wanted for the longest time. I mean, fans have been trying to piece together Resident Evil 1.5 by hand themselves. And I know that you got that shit sitting there in your offices. Just fucking do something with it. It would get people more invested in the idea of this kind of shit. And again, all this is going to do is allow people to just appreciate what this game brought to the table whenever it came back, when it came out in the 90s. It was a big fucking deal. I mean, shit, the first time that I saw the CG cutscenes, you know, compared to a lot of the live action shit that we had in the original Resident Evil, mind was blown. Just We weren't seeing that stuff all that often except for out of Squaresoft, you know. But this is something I want so damn bad. You know, I want to see them add in new stuff to the areas, new puzzles, in addition to the ones that we have. I want this game to definitely be longer. I want some new title tracks, because Resident Evil 2 soundtrack is, is fantastic. I've had that for a long ass time and loved the shit out of it. I always loved the music in that. You know, the whole zapping system that they had, where, you know, whichever campaign that you're in and choices that you make and that will affect the other players' playthrough, do some shit like that. I just think that there are so many things that you could do modernly with it that would be fucking awesome as hell. And god damn, I just, I, I can't wait until they, they actually go and give the word that, yeah, we'll totally go through with it. Spread the word around about this. Seriously, legitimately, spread the word around about this because everybody's been asking for it and now Capcom's actually asking. So all you have to do is voice your opinions. We voice our opinions every single day. So I'm going to be sharing the hell out of this in sh social media. Hashtags fucking glory. I don't give a fuck how obnoxious and stupid they are. Anything to go and get the point across. I'm going to tweet this shit directly at Capcom. Put this on their fucking Facebook pages. Because I want to see this happen in the worst way. I'm a fan. First and foremost of video games. And I just want to play them and enjoy them. And if they're asking for our input. We should go and give that so we can enjoy these fucking classic titles. Redone up the proper way, the best way, the right way. And to all the survival horror fans and video game fanatics out there, this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on.